Hi, and welcome to Project and Things. My name's Yves. In this episode, we're going to turn this old beat up jerry can into a rainwater shower to be used together with my sauna. So this thing is essentially going to become a campsite rain shower thing. You fill it on the tap, hang it up, and then here's gonna be some sort of shower hose system. And in order to explain my whole setup, we have to go to my garden house. And bam, time travel, because it's also yesterday. So welcome to the back of my garden house. Uh, this is the sauna that I built earlier. And this is a uh, wood storage to fire up said sauna. And so this is the main disaster area. It's become a catch-all for a bunch of wood stuffs, as you can see. Uh, but the cool thing is I still have about 30 of these old garden planks. They're about 30 years old and they're cool looking. Uh, I saved about 20, 25 of them to do something with. And this something is the door. What I want to do here is make a sliding door. So this ugly thing goes away make a door that slides out here and above me will come the rain shower. So I want to go out, stand here, turn on the thing and go <laughs> very cold and then go back into the sauna. So step one, clean up and remove the door. That thing was legitimately stuck with one screw. Hashtag whoops. Take all that plastic off. And I wonder how many tiny friends have taken residence since I put this up a year ago. And there are some of our tiny friends now. Okay, so let's let this dry and see how this frame is actually doing. And now, back to the future. Okay, and we're back to tomorrow. Um, this part is going to be step three because I still don't know how to attach the shower or anything to this. But it's time to weld some steel. For that, I went out and bought a whole bunch of metal tubing that I'm going to try and weld together. Steel tube is going to become the frame that holds up the jerry can shower thing. But my neighbor was so kind to donate his old stick welder to me and I figured it's time to pick up where I left off. And I haven't stick welded since I was 14 and looked like this. And so over the weekend I did some practice welds. They look absolutely horrendous, but um, it's metal stuck together. So now I'm going to try and bend this tube and weld it together. We'll see how that goes. And in order to get some straight angles and 45 degree angles, I'm gonna use a speed square. I'm going to notch two 45 degree angles out of this tube, bend it 90 degrees, and then try and weld it together. Emphasis on try. Okay, hot, hot, hot. So now we have two 45 degree angles, which make a 90 degree. We're gonna bend this thing up to 90 and then weld it. Uh, I put small 45 degree chamfers on each of these sides so that there's kind of like a V shape for the weld to go in. I learned that from the internet. That one looked exponentially better than the previous one. And the next step is to grind these things flat and see how it looks like. So I changed the design a tiny bit. Uh, last night my enabler uh, Roger came by and gave me a couple of pointers. 
We ended up taking out some of the welds because they were quite bad and this little strut wasn't doing anything structurally. So he told me to put in a bigger piece, which I've now done. And I put a little end cap on the top. That was still hot. Um, so now the next step is to paint the whole thing black and then we move on to the door. The plan is to make this door look a little bit like the barnwood door that's in my house. It has a bit of a pattern in there that looks just nicer from the outside. So let's see how far we can get with this. I removed the staples on the parts that were going to get cut off. The rest can stay in there because they kind of add to the patina of the whole thing. I don't mind that. So that was cutting all the boards to the right width. Uh, so now they're all thin, they don't have a rounded edge anymore. And now I want to find out a layout so it all fits on the old frame. Okay, here we go. Step three. We've uh, teleported magically to the future where my hair and beard are a lot shorter. Uh, now I want to attach a sort of shower hose concept thing to this tank. I have found a few things that were lying around that are left over from plumbing in my house. And what I would like to do is attach this to the tank. On the inside, this screws onto it so it basically holds it down. And then I'm going to try in some way to attach this shower head to the actual faucet. I'm gonna find some way to hold it down, screw the faucet on, and then work from there so I don't have to cut any more holes in this thing. And I can also fully close it whenever I need to. One of the many fun things about this is that I have to work through this opening and this thing will fit a little bit of hammer persuasion. Okay, so this is now connected to kind of roughly where I want it to go. And now we have to screw the thing in from the inside. <laughs> oh, that actually worked. I basically stuffed a few pieces of wood into the canister and pulled them tight so they would lean against the nut and they would sort of put pressure on the side, which was essentially like a, a clamp holding it. And then I could sort of turn this faucet to go on there. Uh, so yeah, progress.
Now the Moment Supreme, where I'm hoping that this thing fits. <laughs> shower hose open, shower hose closed. So now I think the next step is to epoxy all of this as shut as possible. So I also added some epoxy to the inside and now we can put on, put back the cover. Okay, and now let's see if this thing is watertight. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. <laughs> it totally works. <laughs> and trick two. Woo! Yes. And the whole thing is watertight where it needs to be watertight. Yes. And then we go from total excitement to the cold hard reality of engineering problems. Turns out I made the door too long and I have to cut a piece off the bottom of it. I have to cut a piece off of the bottom lip of my metal holder in order for a plastic piece to go in that holds the bottom of the door in place. Piece of wood and cut a few slots out of it. So a few technical difficulties, but then we can actually put the thing in place. But my jerry can work, it totally works. Okay, so get to work. It, voila, it's a shower. The idea is I can come out here, turn on the tap, take a massively cold shower, and go right back inside, where it's warm in the sauna. So here's a last minute adjustment to the shower. And I ended up spray painting a word on there, even though it, in Dutch it just means shower. I love the connotation in English. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you like these things I do, then please consider subscribing to the channel. There should be a button to do so below. And also somewhere off to the side here, there will be other videos all about making stuff. So thank you guys, till next time, bye.